Toby the tram engine was very excited. He was wearing a brand new bell that shone like gold. He was off to the seaside. His driver was explaining everything as they puffed along the line. There's a seaside village near here. And every year they have a big parade with a special attraction for all the visitors. This year, Toby, you're the special attraction. Thank you, sir, said Toby. But what does a special attraction do? Oh, just smiles and blows whistles at everyone, replied his driver. We're almost there. Listen, you can hear the seagull. Soon, they reached the little station by the village. But instead of a big welcome, there was just one man. He whispered to Toby's driver and turned sadly away. Well, if that doesn't take the biscuit, said Toby's driver, they've run out of room in the parade and don't need a special attraction after all. We've got to go home, Toby. I'm sorry, old boy. Hmm, so am I, sighed Toby. Percy was shunting in the yard. He didn't expect to see Toby. What are you doing back so soon? Before Toby could reply, Sir Topham had arrived. Leave these cars, please, Percy. There's an emergency at the harbor. Come on, Percy, said his driver. This'll be trouble with Bulstrode. Who's Bulstrode, wondered Percy. He was still surprised about Toby, and now he had two puzzles to sort out. His driver explained, Bullstrode is a disagreeable bard. He never stops complaining. His driver was right about Bullstrode. Today, the barge was more bad-tempered than ever. Come on, come on. Why aren't you cars where you should be? There's no engine, and we can only go where we're put, shouted the cars. You're in the wrong place, not us. When Percy arrived, Bullstrode was sulking, and the cars were crosser still. Our stone is for Bullstrode. Please put us in a siding so that we can load him up and be rid of him. But the cars were being careless. As Percy was lining them up, they burst through some buffers. Help! Help! They wailed. But it was too late. I'm sinking. Serves you right, giggled the cars. You were always barging in and moaning. It took a very long time to clear the mess. Percy watched as Bullstrode was towed to the beach. There you are, said the workman. Now you can just stay here. Children can play in you all day, and at long last, you'll be useful. When Percy got home, he and Toby exchanged all their news. Well, we both had some seaside surprises today, laughed Toby. But Driver says that I'm a special attraction anyway, and so are you. Every time we go on our own line. What do you mean? asked Percy. Well, all we have to do is smile and blow whistles at everyone. <laughs>